Hey there, welcome to my curls. If you're new to my channel, my name is Renee, and this is where I love to talk about my hair. My curly hair, my gray hair, I'm going gray. I stopped coloring my hair about 17 months ago, and this is what I got. So welcome to my curls, y'all. I am so glad you're here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you never miss a single video because I have so much to say about going gray. But today's video is about excuses. The top 10 excuses women give for not ditching the dye. I wanna talk about all the excuses women use for why they don't ditch the dye and go gray. And there are some funny ones, y'all. The bigger my YouTube channel gets, the more comments I get from people, the more people that follow me on Instagram and send me private DMs and Facebook messages. So I have lots of conversations with lots of women. And if you are watching this channel, you are one of three women. You either have gray hair, you're in the middle of your gray hair transition, or you have thought about going gray. And so if you are the woman who is thinking about going gray, but using an excuse as to why you won't do it, I am talking to you, girl. So let's get down to it. And And all you ladies who are gray or in the middle of going gray, back me up in the comments. Let's just have a good laugh at some of these excuses, but comment below. Let's just tell the ladies who are on the fence how great it is to be gray. But let's just count down the excuses. And you know, I love doing countdowns and you all love countdowns. There, there's just something fun about a good countdown. So we're gonna do this countdown style. We're gonna call it the top 10 excuses women give for not ditching the dye. So here we go. We're gonna go backwards. So number 10 is, my kids don't want me to. Y'all, that is such BS. <laughs> Let me just tell you a story. You know I own an ice cream shop. And if you are new to my channel, I own an ice cream shop. Last weekend, I had a lady that came in and she's a couple years younger than me, probably 45, and she dyes her hair jet black. And she had her daughter with her. The daughter was probably 11 years old, I'm guessing. And so the lady was asking me about my gray hair and how does it work and why did I decide to do it? And we're just having this conversation about going gray. And she said, well, my daughter doesn't want me to have gray hair. And the little girl is standing right there and she said, Oh yeah, I don't want my mom to have gray hair. And I said, why not? And so the girl looked at me and said, well, her hair's not gonna be pretty like yours. She would, she would just be, her hair would just be ugly. And I'm thinking, you know what? Number one, how do you know? Why are you letting your kids tell you what to do? The decision is for you, not for them. But I hear so many women say, my kids don't want me to. And that's their excuse. Let me tell you what this lady said to me in our conversation before the daughter chimed in. She colors her hair very, very dark black. And it was a nice, beautiful, sunny day outside when she came in the ice cream shop. And she said that she had gotten her hair colored one week ago, but the gray was already starting to show. So before she left home that morning, she had used a spray, like touch up of some sort. Well, she had her sunglasses on and because it was hot outside, she was wearing her sunglasses. When she came into the ice cream shop, she pops her sunglasses up on her head and she said, here is my problem. This spray root touch up I'm using will get on my sunglasses when they're on my head and then when I go to put them back on, it gets black touch up spray all over her face. It's a quandary, I know. That's exactly why you should stop coloring your hair. Prime example, if you were going through all that and you're dealing with touch up on your face, just ditch the dye and go gray. The number nine excuse that ladies use for still coloring their hair is, my hairdresser says no. So isn't your hairdresser supposed to be supportive of anything you wanna do with your hair? I mean, why would your hairdresser tell you no? But I know that that is so common. Listen, I got a message from a lady who lives on the other side of the world the other day who told me that her hairdresser 
absolutely refused to even cut her hair anymore after she went gray because the hairdresser said he is in the business of making women look beautiful and she did not look beautiful if she had gray hair. Well, the lady got so ticked off, clearly she changed hairdressers. And that's exactly what you should do. If you do not have a supportive hairdresser and your hairdresser is not willing to help you figure out the best way for you to go gray, Maybe you need to ditch the hairdresser and find somebody different. I have the best hairdresser in the world, Betsy. I talk about her all the time. If you want to meet Betsy, I'll link the video right up there. I did an interview with her and talked about what she thought as soon as I told her I was going to go gray. So check out that video. It's pretty cool. Number eight excuse that women give for not ditching the dye is, I don't know what I'm going to look like. Well, y'all, nobody knows what you're gonna look like when you decide to go gray. I had no idea. I had very dark brown, almost black hair with a red kind of like highlight in it. My husband always told me he loved my hair when it was the color of a penny. And so I started adding sort of a red brown tone to my hair. And so the last five years that I colored my hair, that's what I look like. I'm gonna put some pictures here in the video so you can um, see what I looked like all those years ago before I went gray. But you're never gonna know what you look like. You have no way of knowing. And what is so scary is when you just start to see those couple of little gray hairs sticking out in between colorings, all you see is the gray hair. You don't notice the dark hair that's growing, the darker version of hair that's growing. You don't notice the different shades of gray that are growing. You only see the white, the super light hair that is start starting to peek out around your face. That is all you see. So instantly, every woman thinks, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be completely white-headed and I don't wanna be white-headed, so everybody freaks out and they run and they color their hair again. I did the same thing, I promise. But look what happened. I mean, I do have a lot of white. My temples and right in here, look at this. I am primarily white. But right here in the center, I have a lot of dark hair growing. And if you watched my video from the other day about strange things were happening with my gray hair, I have a huge section, like literally the half of my head in the back is growing black hair. My hair looks like it did when I was 17 years old in the back. So check out that video. I'll link it right up here. But that's just to say that you never know what's going to happen. You're going to get different shades, different patterns. You're going to have areas where you have clumps and big like highlights. I had a lady call it chunky highlights of silver coming out. You're going to have light areas and dark areas. And y'all, I had a lady that told me my hair reminded her of a hot fudge sundae. And I loved that analogy. I got a hot fudge sundae, y'all. But you never know what it's going to look like until you give it a try. And you're going to have to get about four, five, six months in before you really, really, really get a sense of what your gray hair and the different variations are going to look like. The seventh excuse is you're going to be judged at work. And I hear this a lot. I get a lot of questions from women asking my thoughts on how gray hair is going to affect them in the workplace. Y'all, I don't have an answer for that. I just, I left my job two years ago to start my own business, to start craving the Curls Road ice cream. I work for myself, I answer to nobody. So I don't know how to give you a perspective on that. But my thoughts are, if you are working for somebody that comments about your gray hair, demotes you because you have gray hair, doesn't give you the position you want because you have gray hair, won't hire you because you have gray hair. Is that really somebody that you want to work for? Consider it in those terms. What do you want to spend your time working for somebody who does not appreciate or value you and they're simply judging you by the color of your hair? Me, that's not a job that I would want and that is not a company that I would want to work for. Just kind of look at it like that. So the sixth excuse, y'all, is my husband does not support me. Well, 
I just say that's a shame. If you are married or you have a partner and there is that important person in your life, whether it's your husband, your mother, your children, your best friends, they should support you regardless of what your decision is. They should not care at all what color your hair is. And I mainly hear this about husbands. Women think their husbands will not support them or do not support them if they choose to stop coloring their hair. When I told my husband I was gonna stop coloring my hair, he just looked at me for a second. And then he said, okay. Like he absolutely did not care. And I think if you approach your husband and you just put it out there and say, look, honey, I'm not gonna color my hair anymore. You know, just sit down, have the conversation, explain to your husband or that person why you need to stop coloring your hair or why you want to stop coloring your hair. Explain it, put it out there. Just don't blurt out, oh, I'm gonna stop coloring my hair and leave that person up to figure it out themselves. Give them the details, explain to them why you're making this decision. And if that person really loves you and it is important enough to be in your life, then they will offer their support. But I gotta say, You've seen my video about my mother hates my gray hair. I'll link it right up here. And my mother is 75 years old. She absolutely hates my gray hair. She tells me she hates my gray hair. She makes no bones about it. And it just kind of is what it is. My mother still to this day colors her hair a very, very, very dark brown. She enjoys going to the salon. She enjoys talking with all the women that she sees there every four weeks. And it's just part of her life. It is what she loves. She's never going to stop coloring her hair and she doesn't understand why I wouldn't want to color my hair. So hmm. the fifth excuse that women give for not ditching the dye is, well, I'm too young. Well, look, if you got gray hair and your gray hair is growing enough that you have to continue to color it ever so often to the point that you are watching this video, does it really matter what your age is? And I have said before in my other videos, I hope that my daughters never color their hair. So whatever age that they naturally start getting gray hair is just the age that they're going to start getting gray hair. I hope that they never color their hair. So does it really matter how old you are? I don't think so. In my opinion, no. I'm 48. And I have said over and over that I wish that I had stopped coloring my hair about five years ago. That's when things really got bad for me. And so I would have been 43. I talked to a lady this past weekend who was 39 and said she just felt she was too young. She still had young children. She was 39. She was still working. So what does it really matter what your age is? If you have gray hair, you have gray hair. The fourth excuse is the gray hair is going to make me look old. Well, y'all, okay, again, I've got another video about that. I'll link it right up there. My thoughts on does my gray hair make me look old? And I'm gonna be honest, there are days that I look in the mirror and though on those days when I have not taken care of myself, if I'm home in my pajamas, if I don't have any makeup on, I don't have my hair fixed and it's two in the afternoon and I haven't brushed my teeth and I happen to pass by a mirror and see myself with all of this gray hair, I look and feel old and frumpy. I don't think it is 100% because of my gray hair. It is because I did not take care of myself that day. I've said so many times that when I get up, put on a little makeup, y'all know I like to have my eyebrows done, I like some lip gloss on, and I like my earrings on. So my hair can be in a ponytail, I can be in my sweats, I can be in going to the grocery, but as long as I've done just a couple of things, oh, and I have my nails painted, um, I feel so much better about myself, and I do not feel that my gray hair makes me look any older than I am. Now, once you start getting a good amount of gray, you are most likely going to have to play around with some different makeup colors like your eyeshadow colors, maybe some different lipstick colors. You might need to just tweak some things. You may need to change some colors in your wardrobe. I know that I can no longer wear cream, like a cream color blouse or like a khaki color. It just does not work with my gray hair. I look washed out and I do feel old when I wear those colors. Any sort of like a 
dusty muted color. I feel not gradient. I can still wear um, browns. I can wear like some neutrals and solid whites and bright colors and patterns. So you do have to do a little bit of tweaking to your wardrobe, but you will find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And so in the end, no, your gray hair does not make you look older. The number two excuse, and this is one I hear all the time is, I'm afraid of what others are gonna say about me. I am afraid of my friends and my family and strangers talking about me. It's just gonna happen, y'all. When you decide to stop coloring your hair and you make the decision to go gray, people are going to make comments. They may talk about you, not with you, sort of behind your back, or they may comment directly to your face. You're gonna get some negative comments. But you will find, I think, that the majority of the comments you do get are very, very positive. I have talked so much on this channel about comments that people leave on my YouTube videos and some of the nasty, hateful comments that people leave on my videos about how horrible I look, how old I look with gray hair, I should cut my hair off, I should dye my hair, I mean, it, I'm just not even gonna, gonna go into the details. I get some really, really hateful, nasty comments. But ladies, when those comments come in, just laugh at them, brush them off, and move on. Who cares what others have to say about your hair? It is your hair, it is your decision, you do what you want. And again, if you're watching this video, I know that you have considered going gray. And I think that's what you wanna do. So let's get to the number one most used excuse as to why women continue to color their hair. Do you have any idea what that excuse is? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It is simply because you're scared. So many women are just scared. And I get that. You going gray puts you outside of your comfort zone. It is the unknown. You do not know what is gonna happen. You don't know what you're gonna look like. Nothing is in your control. You don't know what people are gonna say about you. You don't know how you're gonna feel. You don't know the transformation that you're gonna go through personally and emotionally. Everything is the unknown and the unknown is scary. I completely get that. but. Browse to the videos on my channel. There are so many wonderful things that happen when you decide to go gray. There are so many that I'm just not even gonna go to it in this video. You can watch my video called 10 Things That Happen When I Stop Coloring My Hair. I'll link it right up there. And I just did a countdown of all of the wonderful, wonderful things that happened, unexpected things, things that I never knew that, were, that I was going to experience when I stopped coloring my hair. Um, if you're right now on the fence, you're thinking about the negative. You have no idea that there are all of these wonderful and positive things that will happen when you stop coloring your hair. That's my list, guys. Those are the top 10 excuses that I hear from women as to why they can't ditch the dye, why they continue to color their hair. They wanna stop coloring their hair, but it's the reasons why they can't stop coloring their hair. If you all have heard other excuses from family or friends, or if it's even an excuse that you use yourself, comment below. I would love to hear from you. Let's just all talk about this. And ladies, today, I know you can't see it, I'm wearing, get in the picture, silver hair speaks louder than words. This is my absolute all-time favorite gray hair tea. It's available on my website, welcometomycurls.com. And if you go there and sign up for our email list, I will send you before every single video release an email letting you know I've got a new video out with a secret discount code for you to use when you buy the tea that I'm wearing in the video. So, silver hair speaks louder than words. Whoop. It's my favorite. Thank you all for joining me and where we talk about gray hair, going gray, ditching the dye. I just, I have so much to say. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're new to my channel, please, please subscribe. So until next time, y'all, I'll see you later.